We ask our kids this question all the time. What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, now a local group is helping little girls answer that with real hands-on activities. We have Kimberly and her sweet daughter, Belle Eve, over here waving. Thank you, ladies, so much for joining us Thank here. Thank you for having Hawaii. us. Tell us about this career camp you have planned. Dream Career Camp is an opportunity for our girls to learn from real professionals in a play-based framework. So it's hands-on activities, it's fun, but it's also an opportunity to learn from women who have had their dreams to come true by way of hard work and serious study. I'm assuming this sweet girl of yours inspired this camp. What ages? Who do you want to come out? Anybody who's interested in play, anybody who's interested in wearing hey, pink Daddy. and having a good time. So ages four to 10. Four to 10, oh, what kind of activities will they, can they anticipate and expect? We are going to have presentations from women in the arts, women in STEM, cosmetologists, and estheticians. And so we can look forward to them having maybe some baby facials as well as designing and building their own dream condo for their dolls. Belle Eve, I have to ask you, uh-oh, look at your doll. What do you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Do you know yet? Uh, a cheerleader. Oh, a cheerleader. Okay, whatever you want to be. Mom, you have a book here. What is this book? Queen Like Me. My husband and I designed it and wrote it about 10 years ago. And I teach history. I'm a history professor. And so the book has to do with communicating historical lessons to hey, children. Daddy. And um, now that I have my hey, own Mama. kids, I am... Hello. more so inspired now uh, more than ever to think about the future. And so as a historian, I'm always thinking about the past, but as we celebrate the 10 year anniversary of Queen Like Me, I'm concerned about our future. And I think dreaming is an appropriate way to consider our future with our children. When and where will this camp be held? Hey, it will be at the collabs <laughs> on She's South excited. Pay. It will be on the, <laughs> at the CoLab building, which is a woman-owned uh, facility that we use quite often for our activities. It's a great space, South Perry Street, downtown, women-owned, and those will be some of the professionals our little girls will be able to interface with as well. And this is a one-day? One-day camp from 9.30 to 2.30, and so if moms would like to drop off, they can and go get a manicure for themselves, <laughs> and if they want to hang out with us, they're welcome to do that as well. And the girls can do just like your sweet girl did and bring their dolls and hang out and learn and experience. Why do you think it's so important for kids, even her age, to meet one-on-one -on -one with these professionals? Well, I think that there are, we have quite a few things working against us right now. We just had your guest on talking about violence, right? Um, social media tends to be extremely prevalent um, in terms of usage for our young people. And I believe that if you catch uh, children while they are young, it is easier to build strong children than to repair broken men, in the words of Frederick Douglass. All right, ladies, thank y'all so much for joining us here in Alabama. Like Belle Eve, I know you wanted to tell all the people hey, so go ahead and tell them, tell them hey now. Now is your time. Hey, four. <laughs> That's our little brother. Aww. <laughs> Do you want to tell your dad hey again, too? Hey, Daddy. Oh, she's so sweet. Thank you, ladies, so much for joining us here in Alabama Live. We thank you for it. having us.